Hey, how's it going YouTube? I am back with another full self-driving beta video. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to see if it can take me all the way to get some lunch here today without any interventions or disengagements. Let's see, I do have this set up right now where you can see inside of my car, I'm giving you the full experience of driving a Model 3 with full self-driving beta. I'm on the latest version of beta, which is 11.4.2. You can see this bicyclist here, and uh, the car is waiting for him. Well, I mean, it would be waiting anyway because it's a red light, but now it's creeping forward. We can turn right on red. There's no sign here. If there was a sign, it's worthy to note that the car still can't process those signs. But here we are coming out, nice and smooth there, no issues. Someone honking for some other unknown reason. I don't know, <laughs> that was weird. It was like their security alarm was going off, but they were on the road, which is really bizarre. But yeah, I don't know if you heard the honking, but at first I was like, uh-oh, did my car do something wrong? <laughs> but as you can see, I'm not doing anything. The car is driving entirely on its own. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the pedals. I do have an extra light in here. Let me grab that real quick. It kind of gives some extra visibility. Um, here we are coming up to the red light and stopping nice and smooth there great no issues all right so I found my light this is a really nice LED light and what I what I like to do is put it down here and it illuminates my pedals so you can just see that I really am not doing a single thing so we are at Salem Drive and Gulf. If you're familiar with the Hoffman Estates, Schaumburg area, I live in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. I'm taking the car from Gulf Road onto Higgins Road over to this restaurant that I always grab lunch. I have a work from home job right now. Since changing jobs, my schedule has been, become really, really hectic and busy. So a lot of times I don't have the time that I used to have in the evenings to be editing videos. So I apologize to everybody for not having the content coming out on a really regular basis. As soon as I can get better control of my schedule, I hope to be able to improve some of that content. Uh, right now, uh, it's, it's a little bit challenging just trying to get this project off the ground. It's been uh, a lot of time from me uh, for commitments to, to get things up and running properly so here we are getting over to the right lane okay very good it did that early on so when I first received beta in October 2021 it would in a lot of cases miss this turn here we are going through a yellow light okay hesitated there a little bit if someone was right behind me I probably would have had to take over there thankfully no issues with people around me that's always one thing you have to keep an eye open for is people that are right behind you because beta can do some unusual things it's kind of like being in the car with a teenager that is going through driver's education <laughs> you have to be alert and ready for unusual things to happen slowing down for this intersection here says stopping for traffic light version 11 introduced the indications from a um, text stand standpoint illustrating what's happening inside of the car. I hope that this in-cabin view of the steering wheel and everything going on in here is, is helpful for everybody. Let me know what your thoughts are. I usually like to have my GoPro camera mounted outside my car. I've transitioned back and forth between the two views. This view I, I really like because I've set my camera back and I've, I've offset it further down so you get a clear view of the steering wheel. So you can see that really I am not doing a single thing. The, the car does require you to put some feedback on the steering wheel to let it know that you're, st you're there. So that nag still exists. And uh, that is in addition to the in-cabin camera that is monitoring the driver at all times. We're coming up to another traffic light here. You can see it indicated it's gonna turn green here any second. I'm gonna pan over on the screen here just to show you where we're headed. So you can see we're going over to this restaurant. I've documented this many times in other videos. It is going to attempt to do a U-turn and it, it can't do it. It still can't with version 11, version 11.4.2 as well. We're gonna allow it to attempt 
the maneuver, but it's going to say unable to complete maneuver, please assist now. That message always comes up. Sometimes if you encourage it, it attempts to go through it, but in this particular situation, it fails every single time. I have seen other YouTubers document successful U-turns, even though they're not supposed to be possible. It can actually get through them in, in certain situations. So if the environment is right and there's no cars around me, I will try to attempt to force the car to make the turn. Going through this intersection, no problem. So, so far, no interventions, no disengagements. It's funny because an intervention, based on almost everybody's interpretation of an intervention, is you stepping on the accelerator or introducing extra speed to the car. But technically, when you touch the steering wheel, that's also an intervention when you think about it because you are providing input to the system. So in reality, uh, tracking interventions, if you, were to, if you were to include those, it would be pretty high. The count would be pretty high. It's still not fully autonomous, and I think people need to understand that. So when you buy full self-driving, you're not buying beta per se. You opt in to become a beta tester, and there's more than half a million beta testers across North America right now that are not only evaluating but helping to test and provide feedback so that it gets better over time. We're trying to squeeze into a gap. Now take a look at this. It's a very tight gap. It kept really close to this van and did a very nice job there. Thankfully, the person behind us didn't close the gap. They weren't really rude. But we do have a green arrow and I'm keeping an eye on the traffic behind us. We have a car, a Honda coming up behind behind us oh it's a hyundai okay and this is where the u-turn is so my screen is freezing seems to happen with a lot of the youtubers especially ones that have this modified screen so it might be an artifact of that so here we are it's trying to do it, it says unable to complete maneuver so we have uh, now a car coming up behind us so i am gonna have to take over It would have been nice to ha have the opportunity to press on the accelerator just to see what would happen because it was it was showing a path and it was almost indicating that it would be able to go through there but I'm not going to experiment with other people around me it's just not the right thing to do All right so I'm driving manually uh if you want to skip over this part I'll put a time time in the, in the link, but I'll fast forward through it anyway. Uh, after I grab my lunch, I'll see you guys on the other end. Okay, we're back. Food is in the car. Beta is turned on, and let's see if it can get us out of the parking lot. Okay, it is clear. Good to go. Now there's a car coming, so good thing it waited. Coming out all on its own. Really nice there. Not bad at all. All right, so it looks like it's going to take a little bit of a different route than what I usually do to get back to my neighborhood area. It's taking Apple Street, which is coming up here pretty soon. We're going to turn right. Let's see how it handles this. Okay, this is going to be really interesting. So it is prime time lunchtime here. 12, 12 p.m. We have to turn left here. It's an unprotected left. Very busy road. Let's see what happens here. It looks like on the left it's clear. Okay, now we've got a lot of traffic coming on the left. We've got a ton of traffic on the right. And definitely can't go yet. 
So we've got to wait for these cars on the left side. And a lot of cars on the right as well. So it's showing the median up there. There's a car up there turning left. So they are kind of in the way. Hopefully it doesn't go out. On the left here, it's going to be clearing up. So this is going to give us a chance to go out into the median. This would be the chance. So I would be creeping if I were driving manually. Because it's time to get out there. And it's sort of clearing up on the right. This is a good time to go. Really should get up there in the median. And now we've got a lot of cars coming on the left. So it really has to go pretty quickly here. Nicely done there. Okay, and nicely done. There was a van there in the other lane. It saw that van, made the move. That was so awesome. I love that. So that was a little bit nerve-wracking for me because you never know when someone's in, a, in the adjacent lane. They could, on a whim's notice, just instantly change lanes. But the car did not hesitate. It went for it. It knew that they were in that lane. Sometimes as a human driver, you're not quite sure which lane they're in. It's a little bit tricky sometimes to know. So I, I typically take extra caution and kind of wait a little bit, especially when it's one or two cars. If it's a lot more, of course I'm going to wait. But that in that case, the car knew it was in the adjacent lane. It knew there was an open space there, and it went for it no hesitation straight through and there was traffic coming in the other on the other side of the road so it had to make the move quickly it could not hesitate and thankfully it followed through i did not have to do a single thing there that was really really well done very impressive it's moments like that that make this software worth it for me now again i, I purchased it when it was six thousand dollars if I had to purchase it at $15,000, it's debatable because that does not happen every single time. And you have to bear that in mind. So by signing up, by purchasing it flat out, it's a, a large investment in the fact that it's going to get better over time and, and be able to be uh, completely reliable. Now, do I think that's gonna happen? Yes, I do. I'm op very optimistic. I'm a glasses half full type of person. How long is it going to take? That's anyone's guess. And I wish I could say, I wish I had a crystal ball and I could say it will be done by 2023 or it'll be done by 2027. I don't know. I mean, Elon Musk, you gotta give him credit in some ways for announcing to the public these milestone completion dates. And it's, it's kind of like Steve Jobs. I think he, he learned from Steve in that regard is make these ludicrous announcements. Although I don't think Steve made them publicly, but uh, <laughs> make these announcements, make these claims, um, encourage the development team to push, push, push. And I think in some cases, he's actually pushed a little bit too hard. And I think that's that has some to do with Andre Karpathy's departure from Tesla. I think he felt like the timelines were unreasonable and the expectations were un unreasonable. So I think there was a lot of pressure to deliver. And not very many people can perform under high pressure like that. I know I certainly have a, have a very hard time with that, especially if you're having to pull all-nighters or work over holidays. That it's not easy to do, you know, especially if you have a family and you have other hobbies and activities going on. It's really hard to manage that. So if you do decide to invest in full self-driving beta, and I would treat it as an investment, know that you are paying for these developers that are working their butts off to make this happen. And if it, if it wasn't for that, and that, that was what really gave me peace of mind when I spent the money, knowing that, hey, these guys are working really hard and putting in a ton of effort. And that goes a long way. I feel like I got my money's worth. Now, if you, if you do choose to purchase it, I would recommend doing the subscription first for $200 a month just to try it out. Certainly, I would not go and pay $15,000 just not anywhere near completion at this point in time. So at this point, we'll close out the video. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.